Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? So today we'll be installing a new ignition switch onto this GY650cc scooter. So first we'll need to remove this front paneling, which will require us to remove this screw here. And also we gotta remove these four screws here, one here, one there, one right here, and one right here. So let's get those removed, guys. Okay, guys, so let's get our screws removed. I'm missing one down here, so these other two okay guys so we'll go ahead and get this pro removed now so we can get everything off Okay, so this will come off and then this will just slide down your light is still connected your headlights and your blinkers all your wiring so we'll just set that aside okay guys so here's our connector for ignition switch which runs to our wiring harness and whenever you are purchasing your new ignition switch guys you want to make sure that your plug count is the same so that we have four plug plugs running here and four that run here so the fourth one here they actually cut it so we'll just cut this black and white wire as you see it's a black and white wire here and it runs to this a jump wire that goes to your harness so we'll just cut that and reconnect it here with a butt connector so just make sure when you're purchasing guys the wiring colors match up and everything like that and then we can just unscrew this 10 millimeter bolt and then we can turn it take it out the housing and then we can push the tabs in to take it out the front i'll show you that guys so let's get that bolt removed first we're going to unplug it disconnect this wire here and then we're going to remove our 10 millimeter bolt so let's get that guys so we just disconnect that separate these wires Alrighty guys, so now we can just disconnect this, get that out the way, and then now we can just go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket to remove this. You can use a open end wrench as well, whichever works best for you. So we get that pulled. So here's the bolt, so we will just set that aside. So okay guys, now we can just turn this and then we should be able to pull it. We still got one more bolt I believe back here, see if so. Yeah, we got one more bolt back there guys, so we'll need to remove that.
Okay guys, so to get to the, that back bolt, we'll need to remove the lower panel in here. We'll have to remove these four screws. You should have four. Probably two, just two guys. So let's get those out. That's also a 10 millimeter. So let's remove that, guys. So let's go ahead and remove this cap here, guys. So you just want to push it from the back and remove that. So now we have better access to getting to that last bolt here. So we can set that aside. Okay guys, so taking a look here, the bracket kind of seems bigger on this for the mounting where it mounts. So We'll probably have to rig something for that, but let's see guys, let's just get this last bolt removed and we can see where we go from there. Okay guys, so all we need to do, pull back the panel and here's our last bolt. So let's get that removed and then we should be able to remove the entire ignition switch. Okay guys, and the next thing, this one has the steering lock, the one that I bought doesn't have it, so I think that is the problem there. So let's see what we can do about that guys. Here is the entire unit. So okay guys, I chose to take a different route for connecting the black and white wire here. If you look down in here, you have a pin and there is a little ridge on there that you can push down on with a small screwdriver and you can pull the entire wire out so we don't have to cut it. So I'm going to use that female connector with this male connector. This female connector with this male connector I should say. So this female connector with this male connector. So let's get that wire out guys, so we'll just push it from the back. And we should be able to push it out. Here she goes. So let's just get our female connector on here, crimp that down, and then we are good to go, guys. So let's just crimp that.
And if you're using a nail nose pliers like I am, you don't want to put too much force. You just want to get it enough where the wire won't come out. It's best to use a crimping tool. So we just give that a slight crimp, not too much to where it's going to cut the wiring, guys. So we just squeeze that down. I'll give it another little crimp. Make sure it's secure. All right, so that should be good. So now we can go ahead and connect our assembly. We will remove this cap first. You just turn this, guys, and remove it. And then we can put that into our hole right here. And then we we'll just push back the cap through first and let it work its way in so we want to turn it to where we have it facing us hold on okay guys so when you put it in you want this part here with the L to be facing towards you so when you put this in we can lock it in we will turn it to lock it in we can use the cap and turn it or whichever way guys so let's get that done Let's push that up there guys, push that in. And then we turn it to lock it. So it's locked in right there. So we now just connect our connector back here. And then we will plug the black and white wire back into our jump wire here. And we can use some electric tape to wind that up, guys, so it's not touching anything and ground us out. So let's see if it does work. I'm going to reinstall my battery, and then let's see if it works, guys. Another way, guys, to verify that you got it going in the correct way is by coming around to the front cap and making sure ignition is here, on is here, off is there, and your steering lock goes down all the way to the left so that's how you can confirm that everything is aligned properly guys so let's get our battery in and let's test that guys okay guys so in the meantime I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap that wire off Okay, that should be good guys so that's just to make sure no water or anything like get like that gets there and also so it doesn't hit on any metal pieces and ground us out so that's mainly the reason for that okay guys so let's get the battery in and give it a crank okay guys here are the keys so Let's see if she works. I think she should work. The only thing we need is something to just hold this switch in place. So, all right, she turned on. Here is the proof, guys. Let's slide it up. And if we come to the back, we got light. So, she should fire right up, guys. She should fire right up. Okay guys, so let me get it off the safety switch, so I want to see what should stop it from starting, guys. I will see she's working probably just a bit of bad gas, I'm starting it in a while so okay guys here we go I'm 
my god she want to take off guys <laughs> so that is it you know we need to do some adjustment on that I just know but that is it guys so just need to get this held in properly so let me see what I can do about that but go to go guys you can Good to go now guys so all you got to do is put everything back together and you're good to go also guys please if you are waiting on your part please check out my other video where I show you how to bypass this ignition switch so if you lose your key you still can start your scooter and get home or get about your business Please remember guys to like, share and subscribe. Thanks to all our viewers. Thanks to all our subscribers. Y'all are greatly appreciated. God bless. Y'all have a great evening. And I wish y'all a great week. Thank you guys. I catch you all on the next one. Thank you. Okay guys, so I did get it mounted with one of the bolts in that back bolt hole. Okay guys, so if you look you can see it's pretty sturdy, it's not going anywhere. And also at the front here you can see it's sitting solid and the key can turn on and off without any glitch. So that's how you do it guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. God bless. Y'all have a great evening. I see you all in the next one. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.